Alright guys, so today I got the Nissan President loaded up in the trailer. I'm going to take it to the owner. Um, I believe he's going to he's gonna put a new front end on it. And he's going to try to fit some three-piece wheels on it. So I got to take it to his house. And then in about two or three weeks, I'm going to bring it back. That way we can uh, we can drop in the, the 5.3 swap. So for now, she's going home, and I'll bring her back in two to three weeks so we can finish her off. I finally made a hole for the antenna. Looks pretty good. Over fender on. I'm just going to clean up the garage real quick, and then uh, hopefully we can put her in and uh, get her started on the paint. I'm gonna use this bag right here that I have laid down on the floor. I'm gonna use it to cover like this whole section right here. The tires, uh, my welder, my tool cart, my, uh, my toolbox, the motor, and then I think that's about it. I'll pick up the camera right now once I have uh, everything covered up with the plastic bag. I got my rack full of parts covered and I got my uh, toolbox covered. Okay, so you see this line right here? I'm gonna cover the whole thing from here. I'm gonna cover this whole thing, and then I'm just gonna paint from this line forward. I'll paint the whole car. And then once I have this painted, um, I say about like two days, I can, uh, I can turn it around, and then uh, I'll, cover the, uh, I'll cover whatever is already painted, and then uh, I'll, I'll finish painting like the rest of the car. The reason for me doing this is because I don't have a lot of room in my garage. So I have to paint it. I mean, I could do it. I could do the whole car, but then it's not gonna come out alright. So um, I think it's best if I if I paint it in two parts. I'm gonna start covering the windows, the wheels, and like I said, little parts like the mirrors, shit that doesn't need to be painted. Gonna be covered, and then uh, give her a clean up real quick. Clean her up, and then start painting her. See how she comes out. One eternity later. I'm going to give you guys a quick uh, sneak peek of the 350. Check it out. Alright guys, I hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you are, go ahead and smash that like button. It has been around a week so far since uh, I last painted the front end. I only did the front end so far, so I got the car already turned around. So I'm gonna start uh, prepping it so I can do the rest of the half. I'm gonna go over some questions you guys had on uh, on the previous video where uh, I showed you the type of uh, paints I used. All right, Arnold Glenn said, how about the mixture of primer before base coat? Philly, is it the same measurements 50-50? Uh, I think you're talking about that other uh, primer. Um, I usually just get the get the spray can. That primer you're talking about, it's only like when you, if you need a lot of primer, like when you go down to the bare metal, then you start buying that that, that primer. They sell you in a, they sell you by the gallon and shit. So um, I try to 
only use spray can, bro. That primer you're talking about, it's uh, it's a lot thicker, so I'm pretty sure you gotta reduce it quite a lot because it's a really thick uh, primer. All right, next question. All right, the homie Mumbo said, good info, bro. Now to just think about if I'm actually down to doing it myself. Bro, do it. It's not that hard. Plus, it's uh, you don't spend a lot of money, so I mean, it's worth it. It's worth it's worth the it's worth the try. All right, next question. Two Streets official said, what paint shop do you get your paint from? All right, so if you're from SoCal, like around my area, and you're familiar with La Puente, there's a shop called uh, GM Auto Paints, and that's that's where I get my paint from. They're they're pretty cheap, and especially if you bring cash, just don't tell them I told you that. If you bring cash, you can uh, lower the price a little bit. All right, the last question is from Irvon09. He said, what about the hot boy flakes to be bright like a diamond? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to uh, spray that one on this car. So I have here my flakes, check it out. They're from House of Color. This whole bottle cost me like 60 bucks. Uh, but I mean, it's, it's a lot. I painted, I painted the 240 coupe with, uh, with a little bit, you know? And I still have like plenty left for like a couple cars. So on the 350Z, I'm gonna do the roof. Uh, I'm gonna do the roof black, and then I'm gonna throw some flakes. All right. So when I'm when I paint it, um, I'll show you guys how I do it step by step. So so you guys can see how how simple it is. All right. And if you guys have any more questions, uh, leave a comment down below, and uh, I'll answer it uh, as best as possible as I can. You know, sometimes I don't even understand myself, but. I try my best, you know. All right, before I go, um, the next video I will be revealing the 350Z car paint. So stay tuned for next video. All right, guys. So that concludes the video for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.